Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel W Decoders. Today in this video, I will show you how to configure multi language in Angular application. After configuration, output will be like this. By default, language is set to English. If I click to this button, you can see this is translated. Before starting to configure this, my request you friends, if you are new on my channel, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification for the latest videos. Let's move to the VS Code. First of all, we will create new application. This is completed. Let's open this. Check the output. Okay, this is running. So for multi-language support, we will install this package. Okay. This is ngx translate i will provide the link in the description box you can find there so i will copy this and uh, i will open one more cmd here let me install this and one more thing we need to be installed is uh, yeah this one now in the html file first of all i will remove all the content We'll put two buttons here. Okay. Here in the bottom, I will add uh, hello for displaying. And I will add a translate pipe here. Okay. So now you can see the red line is coming because of uh, we need to be import first translate module here. Translate module we need to be import. So this is import, okay. The output, uh, we will check. Okay, you can see this is coming because in the configuration also we need to be provide the content means uh, we need to be import here. So I will copy the same code from the website. So you can see uh, uh, this code we need. This one, okay. So let me copy of this one. First of all, I will uh, paste here. Then uh, we will add the required thing. Okay. So here I need to be add import providers form. I need to be paste this code. Let me import this one and translate HTTP loader. Also, we need to be import. This is fine. That's a typical line. Let's uh, translate loader. So now we have been import this one. Let me check. All are removed or not? Okay. For HTTP client, we need to be import HTTP client module. But one thing, this is Angular 18. So HTTP client module is depreciated. So you can see if I add HTTP client module. And even if I find here HTTP client module, so you can see this is depreciated, right? So instead of this, what we need to do, we need to use this one. Okay. So I have copied and I will put here. Let me import this. Okay. Perfect. Now we can check in the console. Everything is fine. Okay. So now you can see this is hello is coming. Now here I will add uh, the default language. Default I can send is English. Okay. And now uh, you can see uh, we don't have the assets folder here. And we have been marked as assets. So we will do, we will create the assets folder here. And uh, we can create two files under this. Let me do again assets and dot JSON. One more file is the uh, hi JSON. Okay, so in English, I will provide the data. So every key we need to be defined here. If if we want to translate there, 
okay so same we need to do in in the json file right so i will add hello here and same i will copy and here i need to provide the hindi language text like this okay this is fine now we can check on the bot no it's not working okay so and here you can see uh, this is not point oh one more thing i need to do is i need to create this uh, this folder also the assets okay and both files should be moved so that we have done we check again okay this is not finding again we need to do something in the configuration or we can do one thing let me public folder so that also fine and we need to be provided like this so we can uh, remove this one and now it's working yes okay and you can see right this hello is coming now i need to use i need to check for the hindi language how that will be work so in the component component uh, .es file when you click on this uh, english button we need to perform one event so let me add the click event here translate text this function i have created let me copy of this one name here and in this i will provide English. here i will provide hindi okay so the same function we need to be create here here we have a language type will be string and translate but before this we need to be import right so inject i will use translate translate service Inject. translate service so this i will use here and this is pretty simple check this one perfect so this is it this we want to do okay if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest update thank you for watching